Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about how to get things started for um, usually typical project after we import, you know, contours, you know, site images, um, aerials. Um, usually we want to create topography and then have some massing, um, like buildings around and those big things, you know, and property lines, those basic structures that won't change. Um, so, for example, the first thing is um, usually we do, um, you know, like um, topography. Um, so to do that, um, you want to make sure um, this is, um, you want to hide the photo and then you just create a view. Uh, by the way, uh, when you uh, use the flyover tool, just make sure um, different modes. Sometimes it doesn't work really well. Usually the modes are wrong, okay? Uh, you can use active layer plane mode or uh, interactive origin mode. When things doesn't work really well, just change the mode. That's basically how my suggestion. Um, so then um, you see here, um, one issue is when you come from AutoCAD is or you know Rhino, or is the lines are either nerves or 2D polygons. But um, to create the topography, we have to use 3D polygons. So we have to go to convert, um, and then go to convert to 3D polys. Make sure it's this one, and click it. See here, they will convert them and as a group. So we just ungroup it. So all these lines become Let's me select those. See so 3D polygon, okay? All these are 3D polygon, okay? So you just select them, just select them all. Um, just make sure they're all selected. And just go to landmark, and then go to create site model and site model from source data. Um, this is pretty standard. I just use this um, most of the time. Um, because I have contour lines, I know how to create contour lines from Rhino or other software. Uh, and then this window come up. So it's basically just just insult uh, info object panel here. Um, you can change all those later. Um, you know, um, but the only thing that's different is these graphic properties. Um, is, you see here, there's some um, to change the, the line weight, line type color all those kind of things uh, but it's you know it's kind of important to save some time for example what i do is i usually have my own settings and i save it uh, and then i can use it next time you know so see here this is my own setting okay so you can change this and save and give a name you know you can replace them later update them so just save time um, click it and click OK. Then um, we'll have this kind of um, this is 3D model we have, you know, um, pretty standard. And then um, you we can hide contours. We don't need the contours anymore. Um, sometimes there will be some like a um, this kind of edge in here, uh, but we can change those by um, you know come to the settings here, um, change the minimum elevation, change them lower. Okay, if you change them lower, they will change. Okay, uh, see here, I change them lower, and I got it changed. Okay, right now it works really well. So next, um, I just go to the um, top plan view. You can see these arrows. You know, um, you can hide the arrows by, um, you know, go back here again, and you can cancel them. You know, click here, you can cancel them, so they won't have slope arrows. They only show the um, labels okay um, and then um, what I want to do is to draw like a uh, property line um, you'll see here um, let me just hide my uh, let me put this on, uh, on a class on a new class and I'll just name it site and click OK so I just Put this on my side. There you go. So here, um, you know, this is my photo. You know, so I have um, this is my property line. Okay, 
So to do this, you have to, um, it's kind of hard to draw in this orientation. So usually um, there's a rotation plan, uh, see here, rotation plan tool. You just click it. What you do is you click, um, just click anywhere, um, like here, and then you just hover over here and click to automatically find, um, you know, a, a good orientation for us. Okay, that's really cool. And they will create a new options. See here, this rotate top plan. Okay. Um, then what do we do is we click this property line. Um, it's actually a polyline, but we can create an object from shapes. You click it, and you just select property line. See here, property line, and you click OK. Um, then they will have you know things pop up. Um, you know you can give them. Um, you can you can just do some you know editing down here. Just select things you don't need. Um, this distance, maybe I need distance, this no, so it will show some things and hide some things, okay? The same thing with, um, this is the angle, you know, um, this is area, okay? So they will show area for you too. Um, and you can give names, for example, here, this is name, let's say garden, then they will have names, okay? Um, sometimes they will show up, um, report curve you know it's a huge table actually really bad see here they will give you a huge table you don't need those okay just click no then that's good okay um pretty much it um uh, the cool thing about property line is you can always change them okay see here right click then edit pass um you know it can be changed it can become bigger all the numbers changed okay uh, automatically um all right, so that's property line. Um, let me just create a new um, one. Set property line. Click OK um, and change this to property line. Then uh, for the site model, I have to change again. Um, let me duplicate the property line um, and change the name here. Just change site model and then uh, name this as site model. Then I can hide the property line. So this, I have a site model here, and the property line here. Okay. Um, then pretty straightforward. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is just. Um, you know the uh, mass massing tool. Um, actually, you know there's a pretty cool mass massing. Uh, you just draw a box. Just it can be whatever box. Um, and then we can make sure there's one service. Okay, that's a key. Okay. And then what you do, you just right click again, right click, create object from service, and you just say massing. This is the massing model. You click OK. Then they will create a massing model for you. You could actually just go to, you know, so this is a site massing model. Uh, the roof, you know, you can change. So it's pretty straightforward, okay? You can pitch the roof, just do all kind of things you want, change the height, all those, okay? But what I want to show you is this, is um, if, so this is time model, you want to put this, this underneath it. You want to put this on site model. It's pretty easy. Okay, you just right click. Actually, click right click this um, massing model, and there's a button called Send to Service. Click it. They will put this on the service. Okay, um, basically on the topography. Okay, that's what we need. So um, by the way, um, I forgot to tell you one thing is. Uh, after you put on uh, is about the previously the um, the property line. Um, you could actually you know for property line you can actually change you know units really straightforward. See these acres you can change square feet, um, and also this distance tool you can change. This is feet you can 
it's called segment units you can change to inches yards so yards all those things um so uh it's pretty um convenient okay and then um let's back to site model um one, right now the, the last thing i want to show you is the um sh shadow tool which is it's like sketchup shadows it's called a Halli halyoden tool i don't know how to call it uh, you basically just click and just you know just um click and um for the north just make sure this true north arrow okay that's the key okay so you don't want to use a rotated plan for that okay uh, we have we used rotated plan before but we don't want to use that for this shadow thing okay uh, once this is done you click it uh, you have to make sure you are in open gl mode okay you click open gl then see you will show up um, and also you want to make sure open gl options the shadow is checked okay um, so once those things are made you are good um, then what do you do it's just really simple you just change the time you know this is nine o'clock you change to 15 you know it's afternoon you know and then you can change to different months you know um, pretty cool stuff okay um, you know like 8 a.m. you know they will tell you um, so it's pretty straightforward just give you actually um, accurate shadow simulation okay um, that's it thank you